Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so, uh, so this uh, initiative would be uh, we would be walking through some of the initiatives that we are doing uh, with respect to cloud interoperability and open standards for digital India. Uh, so, uh, as we walk through a few of the slides, uh, we would be uh, walking through uh, why interoperability, especially in India, and uh, the current efforts uh, that we are doing as a part of CCICI. And um, and then like how we have been uh, uh, in fact uh, studying ISO 19941 standards and IEEE uh, P2022 uh, standards, and how CCICI is uh, involved with these initiatives. Uh, Yeah, so uh, in fact, as you know, uh, nowadays there is a push for uh, digital India initiatives and the government of India is uh, really fueling the cloud in all the aspects, uh, be it e-governance and uh, citizen services or uh, even the waste management and um, um, the smart cities, smart metering, so, so on and so forth. So cloud uh, really forms the crux of uh, whatever the initiatives that we are doing as a part of uh, government of India. Uh, so. Uh, now, actually, like uh, this activity or study is uh, in association with uh, TSDSI, uh, that is uh, Telecommunication Standard Development Society of India, and also uh, CCICI, uh, that would be uh, Cloud Computing Innovation Council for India. So, uh, to uh, to speak some uh, a few lines about these bodies, TSI DSI is uh, under Department of Telecommunication, and is uh, mainly responsible for developing and promoting India-specific requirements, uh, standardizing the solutions for meeting these requirements, and also contributing to the international standards. Uh, whereas, in fact, like CCICI is a nonprofit society, uh, mainly acting as a consultation wing for the government organizations such as METI and DOT. And uh, it is a collaborative uh, platform where we have members from academia, uh, government, and also industry. And uh, the mission is to foster the growth of cloud computing. And some of the in, uh, uh, important activities that we have done so far is with respect to uh, coming up with a white paper on cloud consultation. And uh, it is acting as an advisory role to the government of India. And uh, also uh, Ministry of uh, Information Technology and um, the Interoperability Trust Force that uh, this, whatever the current activity we are doing. Uh, so, uh, with respect to interoperability and uh, developing portability with uh, cloud standards in India, so this is what we have uh, somewhat defined. Uh, so, this would, this this would, uh, this is the approach of our uh, current study, uh, where we are focusing on uh, defining some of the India-specific use cases uh, and reviewing with the existing IEEE uh, P2302 and ISO 19941 standards and see if there is any gap analysis with this with respect to these standards and come up with uh, standards for india uh, probably like after the uh, gap analysis if there are any uh, relevant gaps uh, with this international standards uh, we are going to come up with the standards and then uh, basically define the test bed and, and uh, submit the recommendations to department of Tem telecommunications and uh, uh, telecom regulatory authority of india so uh, so let us straight away go. Uh, so this is one of the use case where, where we are trying to uh, probably move to the uh, cloud uh, with respect to the legacy uh, 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 applications in place. So, so we have this uh, traditional government departments where they are like having or running the legacy applications and they want to leverage on the cloud. So we have defined this uh, legacy um, uh, use case where, where we are uh, leveraging heavily on the OpenStack API standards. Uh, to establish the communication between uh, the legacy applications and, and that are uh, running on the cloud. So, so uh, coming to the next use case, uh, probably uh, this would be more interesting to speak with. So we, uh, we have termed it as uh, Chotu AI. So this especially uh, is uh, based on uh, child holistic transformation using artificial intelligence. So as you can see from uh, the flow here, like we have uh, defined an edge cloud right from mind. We have the third parties who are doing prediction and recommendation based on the local needs and cultural sensibilities. So what we are typically uh, aiming to do is uh, we continuously collect the data uh, about the children and store it in the cloud. Uh, using uh, securely PKI or it could be some uh, distributed uh, ledger technologies. 
uh, analyze the data continuously and correlating various aspects uh, with respect to health, education, security, uh, predict and flag incidents uh, to the caretakers who may be parents or the guardians of the child. So, um, uh, so one, one thing uh, here would be uh, the hosting of the workloads with respect to the data which should be uh, done uh, in the location specific environments and uh, uh, multi-cloud orchestration between the resources. So we could have uh, Edge Cloud or probably a school maintained a private cloud who is hosting the uh, data of the uh, students. And again, it can be integrated or it, it needs to be shared between the um, uh, cloud hosted from a CSP point of view. So again, uh, considering the nature of the data here, it becomes uh, responsible um, um, from uh, interoperability and portability use case. How do we manage this? And we are working uh, in defining the standards, again, leveraging the OpenStack APIs uh, between, between uh, these cloud entities. To summarize, uh, so with this use case, we want to uh, harness the power of the cloud, AI, and mobile transfer to the future of every child back in India. So, and with respect to cloud, like we, again, like we are using OpenStack Cloud as we do not want to uh, vendor lock in for uh, any of the uh, CSPs, and we are again um, uh, as as uh, the OpenStack provides uh, much more futuristic uh, uh, with respect to its uh, APIs. Uh, we are uh, we are leveraging on OpenStack. Um, so, so basically, again, so this would be to uh, capture and store spe child specific data in the cloud, and uh, how do we um, uh, uh, mentor and guide the child with respect to the data that we have collected. So as a part of this activity, some of the um, recommendations or uh, the, uh, the deliverables of this activity would be uh, to recommend a complete standard including the elements uh, for international standards as well as the new uh, elements uh, with respect to uh, India context, uh, context if applicable. Um, otherwise, we would be again like depending on IEEE and ISO standards and uh, come up with a uh, reference architecture, uh, ar architecture how to roll out the interoperability and po portability uh, for India specific standards and come up with a test bed and testing mechanisms uh, to, um, uh, in fact, like do a small POCs of the use cases that we have defined so far. So, if anyone is interested in collaborating uh, with us, um, you can always um, um, come to this URL, like where we have defined the, uh, where we have the work group with respect to um, the activities that we are doing, and uh, we are also like uh, innovation task force under CCICI, uh, where uh, it is open for everyone to participate and uh, contribute. Yeah. So, if there are any questions, yeah. So OpenStack had interoperability inter program where we use RefStack and RefStack client to run Tempest test and certify a different distribution. Uh, so and how it is different from that? No, that would be one aspect to it. Uh, so w when we are doing this uh, POC, right, so it is more of a India specific use cases that we are doing. So it, uh, there are more sensible data that we collect from a government perspective to uh, even the Choto uh, AI use case that we are telling. So process-wise, it may be same, uh, but it is how we manage the things internally so, would be different. Yeah. So from your slides, it generally appears that like you, once you have the deployed cloud, you have the applications running on them, then you are going to monitor them. Uh, yes, one part would be that, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea on the uh, platform standardization perspective from RFP angle for the from the uh, government of India? Uh, currently not. Uh, so eventually we want to do that. Uh, in fact, uh, as the charter of the CCI, uh, CI, as I explained, uh, so we do um, uh, respond to some of the RFPs from METI and DOT. Mm -hmm. So where in the past, like we have def uh, or responded to the RFPs, and in fact there is one RFP that we are in fact. Uh, uh, working on for uh, TRAI, so try. so we do yeah try so yeah. we do do that yeah okay thank you so 
is the coloration happening somewhere in open space, like on GitHub or GitLab? Uh, currently, no. Uh, so it is all with between uh, CCICI. Uh, so eventually, we want to have a GitHub for CCICI. So we are still in the initial phases uh, where we do not have any deliverables as such. We can uh, put it to the uh, public uh, domain. And also, we want to be a bit more uh, sensitive because we are dealing with some of the uh, government agencies. But you can keep the specs public. Yeah, that 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 once we have defined the specs uh, and it is uh, approved by DOT and try. So we would all be the things that. are in process, like. Yeah, so it is it is it has been a year and a half activity that we are uh, doing. So, yeah. do you have any public mailing list where we can like ask which? So probably you can um, go to this URL, CCICI contact. So it's uh, kind of a one-way communication. Uh, no, like we 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 do uh, monitor our emails and respond to the okay. queries that we get. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.